Welcome to the final adventure of the Pokemon Go Sinnoh Tour. We had an incredible time last week in Los Angeles. We had a great time yesterday. Let's try to end this thing with a bang. And right off the rip, we are hatching five 10 kilometer eggs. These could have shinies. We did hatch a shiny Chatot in our last adventure. So recently got shiny Chatot, and then in Los Angeles, we got two shiny Pachirisus. So I guess today, the final goal is to get the third and final shiny regional, shiny Carnivine. No. And technically, Mime Jr. That is one of the hardest shiny regionals to acquire and that would be a great one for me no i believe we have one more egg going down right here regardless whether we get a shiny or not we're getting a lot of dust a lot of candies not a shiny there well it was worth a shot quick iv check on the squad maybe some hundos i haven't hatched a hundo yeah well that's nice okay not a bad start but there's something we're gonna do right now and that's gonna be hopping into a dialga raid because i've been raiding dialga non-stop i mean n-o-n-s-t-o-p for the last i don't know 72 hours since the remote raid limit has been lifted. I have done a disgusting amount of raids, especially Dialga. I got one shiny so far, which is crazy, but more importantly, I want the hundo. A hundo Dialga is probably my number one want in Pokemon Go overall. So we're going to be doing a lot of raids today. Wish me luck. Okay, Dialga number one goes down. It's not a shiny one and it's not good. Oh gosh. All right, let me take this thing down. <laughs> it's been a rough weekend of raiding, although I think it's something pretty cool. I got an extra, extra small Dialga from a raid. Origin Dialga. Getting an extra, extra small or large from a raid, I feel like it's super, super hard to get. I have only like a handful, so that was a cool catch. But as cool as that is, I don't care about it right now. I need the hundo so bad. And here we are going in on a Dialga raid again, because I don't know when these are ever going to come back. I guess if I had to pick a hundo I wanted, I would probably want the origin form. Let me know in the comments, does the origin form of Dialga have any different stats, or is it just a different moveset and a different, uh, you know, design? Because I guess if I had to pick a hundo I want, I would want the origin form. And it's technically a rare version of it, Come on, please, 2833, not good enough, not good at all. Down it goes and not a shiny. I got it on the first ball on a really bad throw, uh, but as you can see really quick, I have over a thousand candy, which is honestly isn't a lot, but I have almost a thousand XL candy, which is crazy. As you can see, I've seen over 300 of them. That means 300 plus raids, trades, special trades, lucky trades, no hundo for you, boy. This is probably my worst ratio for a legendary. So again, it's a hundo I want more than anything, and we're going to make that happen today, but first, I want to finish up some research. So we have the looking for the boss research, which is going to give us some goodies here, but I honestly don't know what you get at the end of it. Three rocket radars. Oh, wait, well, what? What is this? Earn a heart with your buddy three times. What, what is that reward? Is that a battle? Do you get an encounter? I've never seen that, and I have not seen any spoilers on Twitter, so I have no idea what I'm looking at, but you also get 15 Dialga candy, four XLs, and an encounter. I guess I'm gonna get this done because I'm very curious. What is behind this research? Down goes another Dialga, and oh, what? What just happened? Hold on. Let me try that again. Okay, not a shiny one. 2909. I don't think that's the hundo, but that's one of the highest ones I've seen in quite a while, so I'm down. I guess we're trending in the right direction. Ah. What's up? Yeah, how's it going, man? How are you? Me too. I watch your videos all the time. Bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so I do want to move on with that time research or the special research because I want to know what the heck that's about. But I am hatching some 10 kilometer eggs here, trying to test my luck on a couple. Come on, man, please. I guess we've had some really good luck so far, so I'm not complaining. But this is what I want to do. So what happens? Oh, wait, what? Wow, that's new. That's very new. You have to battle each one of the team leaders. Oh, I think I heard some rumblings. I think you get a shadow legendary encounter at the end of this, if what I remember is correct. So we're gonna, I guess, do this throughout the day. Also, this is the worst recommended they could have ever given me. What is this? <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me battle all these team leaders. You guys don't need to see that. And then I'll get to you when this research is done. Okay, for one, we have a Dialga check again. Of course, it's not a shiny. Of course, it's not good. Let me know in the comments. I feel like the shiny rates over the last, like maybe since they did the remote raid change have been horrible or just not what they used to be. It could just be me, but I feel like I haven't been getting as many shiny legendaries as I used to. The rates kind of seemed a lot better back in the day, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna toss a ball here. There's something else I wanna do. I wanna catch this. Ladies and gents, you get shadow legendary Reggies again. Um, so remember, we got Shadow Legendaries uh, so long ago in Pokemon. Well, a couple months ago. This guy's walking around with a horn. Not great. But uh, anyways, Shadow Retrorock right here. This is our second ever opportunity at one, and it's a zero star. I, I'm actually one of the only people on the planet that likes the Reggies, so I'm not mad at these. I'm looking forward to it. We have another battle with... Is that a shiny? No, I can't tell anymore. Also, the game doesn't sparkle. What's going on with that? We have another battle with Cliff... No, no, that's not a shiny. We have another battle with Cliff and Arlo, which I'm assuming is gonna give us Reggie, Steel, and Ice as well. So I'm gonna battle them and we'll catch them. All right, down goes Arlo, and there's Shadow, Reggie, Steel, 508, yikes. That is such a low CP, that's not even funny, all right. Down that goes on the first ball, 508 is, 
Another zero star, appreciate it. Also day two legendaries, I've barely seen any in the wild today. I mean, I know it was in San Francisco for day one and that was crazy. By the way, if you haven't seen the day one adventure, it was just a great adventure. It was nothing insane, nothing crazy, but it was just very, very good. And I got a lot of things I wanted, so I enjoyed it. And hopefully day two is gonna be equally as good, maybe better. Oh shoot, I just claimed the wrong, re oh my gosh. I just definitely claimed the wrong research. We got a Shadow Gibble, which is one of the strongest, most useful shadows in this game. I accidentally claimed this go to a research, which I guess we also need to work on, but I meant to start the next battle. Anyways, the gibble. Ooh. Oh, God. oh my God. Let's drop my phone. If that was a shadow hundo, oh my, that would have been, that would have, I don't even know. I would have ended the video. That is insane. So technically I would call this a fat L because it's a 14, 14, 14, but that is, like I just said, one of the most useful, best shadows in this gosh darn game. And I just got one at a 90, uh, 3%, that is insane. This is technically a purified hundo. I already have three hundo Garchomps, and I know if I purify this, you guys would absolutely hate me until the end of time, so I'm not gonna do it. I think we're gonna keep this thing as a gosh darn shadow, but this has immediately become one of the best shadow Pokemon that I own. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on the evolution, though. I gotta make sure I get frustration off, and then I'll evolve it when the move is available, but that is an insane catch. For those of you that know, this is very, very, very strong. Probably one of the strongest Pokemon I own, and I kinda claimed it on accident, so, you know, that's cool. Anyways, let's get another legendary encounter. Speaking of legendaries, we have oh, a Zelf from research, not a shiny. 1354. I'm gonna try to catch this with a great ball. Excellent. Did it work? It sure did. I don't know how it did, but it did. Not the greatest IVs right there. It's all good. Three star. I've always wanted a hundo of these two. I'm ready to 50 max one, so that would've been nice. Oh, and what do you know? There isn't a Zelf in the nearby. And that's too far. Not doing it. Okay, anyways, today's all about research. We have a lot to move through. We're gonna go ahead and battle Cliff right now and then get, oh, not that recommended. The recommended is so bad. We're gonna battle this and then get ourselves a Reggie Ice. That was another Dialga, and we can also encounter our Shadow Reggie. Not as shiny. 2271. It's just so unfortunate, man. It's like they're not even like close to good IVs either for the most part. Real rough for me, honestly, in the raid department as of late, but it's okay. We've got a lot of really good luck in many other ways. A few days ago, if you guys weren't around for that, we got a 100% IV Rotom from Research, and I was absolutely stunned. One of the coolest moments in the of this year, obviously. Obviously, the year just started, but that was an amazing moment, and hopefully we can get some more Amazing moments today. Here's a 681 Shadow Reg Ice. Very cool catch. 681. Uh, I know my last Shadow two star. It's the best one we've seen today, so that's fine. My other Shadow Legendaries, for the Regis especially, weren't great. So I guess it's like only up from here, but let's go ahead and claim 15 Dialga Candy, 4 Dialga XLs, which I definitely do not need, and then I would imagine this is Shadow Regigigas. Oh, that is, that is hilarious. It's a Bidoof. They're really, uh, they're really riding this whole, like, legendary Bidoof thing, huh? I feel like it's been so many of the encounters. Well, very weird that they didn't give us a Shadow Regigigas. They gave us the other Shadow Regis again, and then Bidoof at the end. I guess I'm not mad. I just was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> let's get a bunch of eggs going. Let's continue on with the research. Let's obviously continue raiding and, uh, continue getting disappointed by the raids. My mic was not on for that clip. Sorry for the audio. And what do you know? We actually ran into a Yuke's- Oh my gosh, please. Wait, what? I'm out of Master Balls. What the heck? I'm out of Master Balls. Okay, I have been go- Plusing this whole time. That is not a good. Wow, excellent right there is amazing. I've been go plusing with the go plus plus, and I lost the Uxie and also lost all my master balls. That explains why I haven't caught anything in a while. Hold on. Okay, I've also been doing a bunch of routes today, trying to get that new shiny Basculin, of course, because it's surprise shiny. It's super rare, and I want it. And I don't know if it's going to be available from now on or certain events or whatever. But I got a couple fun updates. For one, let's get this done before I forget. Uxie, legendary, shiny. No, 1066 from the research. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop doing that. I have a habit of going to my Ultra Ball right away and my Ultra Ball is not there. So let's keep clearing the Master Ball. That can't happen. Yuxi, three star. Not bad, not bad. But oh yeah, there's shiny Pokemon too. We got a shiny Voltorb on the Pokemon Go Plus. We'd love to see that two star shiny, brand new. And something special about these Voltorbs, I'm hearing that they're actually harder to get than the other shinies during this event. Like this has like a particularly hard shiny rate. So pretty happy that I got three of them. Actually, I lied. I got four four of them. I go plus another one. So my only shiny, wow, three star. My only shinies on the day are Voltorbs. And as you can see, I currently have, oh my gosh, I have five of them. Wait, I got three yesterday? I got three yesterday, I guess. I don't remember that, but okay, I have five of, you know, what they're calling one of the rarest new shinies in the game. So that's awesome. Cannot wait to evolve that. Also, let's finish up the Go Tour stage two, because I don't know what the heck. I feel like we just have to do a Palkia raid for this next thing. Oh no, evolve three Pokemon and activate Roar of Time. That's easy. All right, well, I'll get that done, no problem. The shiny luck, not all there, but we're having a good time. So it's all I can ask Okay, real shinies do exist. We have a shiny Gibble right here right now, 547 CP. Let me not waste an Ultra Ball as I throw it at the ground, dude. <laughs> Gotta be a lot better than that. Let's grab. 
Hello, let's grab this shiny Gibble, our one and only shiny catch that was, you know, hours in our hands, not by the Go Plus. Come on, were they a golden raspberry? Couldn't get the job done? I was chasing a Mesprit. The Mesprit was gone by the time I got here, but I got a shiny Gibble when I got here, so that's a fair trade, I guess. I still don't have a shiny Mesprit ever in Pokemon Go, so that was a big hunt for me this weekend that I wasn't able to get yet. Gibble is a two-star shiny in the wild. I appreciate that. We love Gibble, bro. It's awesome. I remember my first shiny Gibble was such a huge moment for me, so I like that. If you're wondering, yes, I've done a lot of raids in between all these clips. Probably haven't seen like 10 to 20 of them, but you haven't missed anything because I'm not getting anything. Speaking of which though, I just did this raid. This is a 2327, which is 10 CP off of the hundo for Dialga, which is infuriating. Obviously we appreciate that. This is still really cool. It's still my best one probably if I've ever seen one this high. I don't think I've seen one this high to be honest. So it's gonna be my best one if I can grab it, but not the hundo. It's absolute pain out here. And now we have finished the stage three of the go tour. Whoa, that's so rant. Wait, this is so random. I mean, this is very cool. A Shadow Scizor encounter is wild. I wish this was Shiny Shadow eligible. I mean, it is if you do evolve it, but not on its own. I just was not expecting that. That's awesome. That's such a random encounter though. What's the significance of it? I'm not mad. I'm down, I'm down. Is this gonna be something crazy too? Uh, Shadow Honchcrow. <laughs> now these are some exciting encounters. I was not expecting any of that. I'll check IVs on them in a second here. We still have another stage. I wonder if it's done or not. First of all, let's get the candies, get the XLs, because we need those, right? Yeah, right. Spear of a tomb. I don't think I'll ever get this shiny. I, I had so many chances this weekend. I've had so many chances every Halloween. It just doesn't happen. But we have to do, what do we have to do? Purify three Pokemon for another battle. I wonder if you get a Shadow Regigigas at the end of this. Or maybe it's just anything else. I don't know. We'll figure that out. I guess I'll do this. But a quick IV check. The Scizor, two star. The Honchkrow, wow, three star. And oh, Spirit Tomb's a three star too. Pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain. All right, well, let's finish up this research. All right, well, here it is. The Go Tour, Sino Tour, whatever the heck you want to call it, is over. The global version. Well, that's not true. We still have some time left, but the research is over. On the final day, we have a battle. Is this Giovanni? It is. All right, so this has to end up being a Shadow Regigigas encounter again, right? I heard rumblings of the Shadow Legendaries being a thing again, so I'm assuming that's what this is all about. Also, I could have picked a better squad, but I should be fine. And yeah, it is a Shadow Regigigas. Okay, cool. Well, we should be able to take this down, I hope. And then Hopefully we can catch it and hopefully it's good. And with the surf right here, that should do it. Let me know in the comments how your guys' global Sinnoh tour was, how many shinies you guys got, and all, all the stuff you got from the research, because there was honestly a ton. Dude, if you count this weekend's research and last weekend's research, there was like 20 legendary encounters. Some of them are shadow. A lot of awesome opportunities there. Here's Shadow Regigigas 939. I'm not gonna act like I know what the hundo is, but that sounds good. Down it goes, 939, please. Two star. I should have built up that a little bit more, but it's fine. It's been a long two weekends man a lot of grinding uh we still have about an hour ish to play so let's see if we can finish strong that'll do it for sino tour global i did also get a shiny dialga from a raid which was pretty awesome not the origin form but 2292 shiny dialga is pretty amazing and it's a 93 percent that is absolutely incredible you'd love to see it but uh hold on a second i gotta talk about this during this entire weekend i did 87 raids and i only got two shiny pokemon from 87 raids one of them being on the last raid i literally did but the rates were absolutely horrible for me i don't know what the heck my problem was we did get a shiny origin dialga which was great and then obviously the shiny dialga i showed you but other than that man really really bad and also hold on i didn't do 87 raids i did like probably 120 there was a lot of raids i just ran from there was a lot of raids i didn't catch so i did 120 ish raids and only got two shinies that is absolutely absolutely insane no hundos by the way i raided my butt off as you can see i have over a thousand dialga candy i bought hundreds of raid passes this past weekend and just couldn't make it happen i had a ton of fun though la was incredible the, the global was fun as well i guess but i think my luck ran out because the last two weeks were incredible as you guys have seen in these adventures but nothing on the last day of the Sinnoh tour big ggs on the Sinnoh tour as a global i loved it hopefully you guys had a good time let me know you guys best catches from the Sinnoh tour but as a whole the Sinnoh tour was awesome i had a great time hopefully you guys did too ggs